Hello YouTube, um, I just thought I'd take some time to answer two queries that people have asked since my um, initial video going through the settings. One was on the AR emoji, I did a short video and people were saying well how did you do that? Second thing is on Google Pay, so let's get started. As you can see here, AR emoji is already built in to Samsung phones, it's nothing new, I think it's probably a couple of years or so older, so if you've got a newer type um, phone a couple of years or so and above you should already have the AR stuff that I'm going to show you. The only new thing is that it's now come to the watch and I think that's why they improved the RAM, they improved the battery is to cater for things like this. So as you can see it does these things where it waves if you're jogging it jogs as well, it gets tired, it shows you your notifications, very funny stuff actually. So let's start here, somebody gave me an idea to use dark mode on my phone so that you're able to see, um, so let's do that first. <clears throat> um, second thing we're going to do is in your um, Samsung phone, if you have one of these newer devices you should see something called AR zone. Uh, now as I say it's, it's not really new, some of this stuff has been on the phones for a while, there it is, click into that. You'll see all these things in here, you can do very very um, intuitive stuff here. So let's just go into the Emoji Studio here, because I already have one, it won't ask me to create another, but that's this is where you can start and I'll show you where you create. By the way, the, there's music that goes in the background with this, it does all sorts of fancy things like this, uh, but I didn't want to get a, a copyright strike so I didn't play the music, but uh, it's very cool stuff. So this is supposed to be me, uh, it took a photo of me and uh, as close as it could do and as you can see here you can edit it and you can um, clothe it, there's all sorts of accessories just like you would do on uh, Bitmoji, you know, link to Snapchat and things like that. Um, so what I'm going to show you is if you don't have one created there's a couple of ways to do it uh, and to get to the AR zone, so you can go as, as I've shown you there. But if you look at the top of the screen, let's see if we can pull it down, there is a, a button there, click on that and that plus sign on the top right will help you to, to input a new emoji. I've already got one, that's why it's there, but if you don't have one, let's see if we can focus, there is a plus sign there, there it is, you just click on that and then you're able to build your own. Now there are many ways of doing this as well, you may do an emoji that looks nothing like you, that's fine, you can do that, or you can choose to have your photo taken and I'll show you how to do that as well, it builds the emoji based on how you look, uh, and I think that's probably the best one, I, I, I prefer that one to be fair. So as you can see you can build uh, a different one if you want, you can choose different uh, look to yourself, um, but as I said I prefer, I'll show you, let's delete this, uh, here you can create from images, I've just gone past it now, <clears throat> see if we can go back to it, but you can create from uh, image basically, we go back in there, we click the plus sign again, uh, just to show you, and then at the bottom you can create from image, click on that, uh, or create with camera, create with camera I think is what I used, and then you put your face in there, and then it builds it for you, so that's how I did mine, um, and apparently you have to have a Samsung account that's linked to your phone, the same as the what's linked to the watch, so that the watch is able to pick you up. These are some of the things you can do with the AR zone in general, uh, so I just drew a path and my emoji is following it, that's a real dog by the way, he's just standing there for some reason, and I put in an emoji that, that's going towards him. The other thing you can do is you can have your child stand in front of the camera and dance, and the emoji will do exactly what the child is doing as well, so it's it's kind of cool stuff that's been around for a while, uh, but I thought I would cover it here quickly and show you then how you go to the watch. The other thing you can do is AR doodoo, you write in space, uh, so I'm going to write something on the screen here, look, and then if I move my phone I can go anywhere I, come, I like and I come back, it's still there in the air floating, you can do different colors, different shapes and all sorts. The other thing that's cool about um, the emoji stuff is in a keyboard all the things you've created will come here, so you're able to communicate with others by showing you, you know you could type in sad and it will show you a sad emoji of yourself and you could send it, 
or hearts or whatever uh, and you can see the facial expressions are quite real as well so uh, again that, that's nothing new it's just some people didn't know uh, but let me show you um, on the watch now what will happen so let's go into the wearables app let's go into watch faces uh, so this is after creating your emoji this is what you do you then come here to the watch faces you can also do this on the watch but it's it's good for me to show you on the screen and that's what we want AR emoji bitmoji is another good one we'll do it separately but let's do AR emoji uh, if you have built it and your um and your Samsung account is the same you should now see it doing all these things uh, on your watch currently I don't see a way of making it do the things you like I think it just does what's built in uh, so that might be next now Google Pay some people have said that it's not working so let's start by going to the store this is what you do in your wearables app uh, it should be pre-installed but if not let me start by showing you what you do so you go in the store <clears throat> and in the store you can either type in uh, Google Pay or you can just go on the top free it will be the first one there it is we click on it but there's this hidden arrow did you see that so the first Google Pay you see is for the phone but there's a hidden arrow here where you click and you can see the watch version this is what's terrible about this whole setup you know uh, it's supposed to be um, easy with a tab for watches it currently doesn't have that you have to kind of hunt for some of the watch apps I saw this installing on my phone and I was on my watch and I was quite optimistic thinking the Galaxy Store for watch is back. It's still not there. I don't know what this was. I looked for it on the watch thinking, oh, the store is back. I couldn't find it. Uh, but remember what happened with the old watches. It started with nothing and then the store gradually became bigger and bigger. So once you've installed, you should be able to see the app. Uh, or if it was already installed, you should be able to see it in the list of apps. So I'm just going to show you here. You scroll up right at the bottom. I've got GPay right there. I click on it and it shows my card, which I've set up. So there's one card, but you can also add some more. Uh, there's a plus sign there. It prompts you to then go back to your phone and do the rest of the setup and add some more payment. Uh, now, Samsung wants you to really use Samsung Pay. So if I press this button here, which is a shortcut, even though Samsung Pay is not activated and my default is set to Google Pay, it still shows Samsung Pay here um, because they really want to use their own stuff. And I don't think you can remap that button to use uh, Google Pay, but you can remap the other one, the top one, to use Google Pay and then you have it handy. Uh, but you don't have to do all of that either because you can just go in the app as I will show you. I actually went to the shop just so I can show you guys how it works because there'll be some that says, oh, it doesn't work. If it still doesn't work, there's one problem. If you go in your connections and you click NFC, it should by default when you set up, say Google, Play, Google Pay, if it doesn't say Google Pay, click on it and choose Google Pay. Because if you don't, it won't work. Even if you've set everything else up, it won't work. And I had to discover this through uh, trial and error. Uh, but I didn't need to change this in the end. Um, I just started using it and then it worked for me. So here I'm, going, I'm taking you to the store. I just uh, picked up a few items that we're going to pay for. Uh, and I'll show you how it works. It's a shame because I couldn't just... Um, present my watch to pay I had to open the app to pay which on the phone um, you don't have to do that with Google Pay you just unlock your phone and you're ready to go by the way your phone will ask you to set up a pin that pin won't just come up in uh, 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 let, me, let, let me just take you through this and I'll explain about the pin so here I've just unlocked the watch it's unlocked anyway but I presented it and it didn't work it wants me to actually open the Google Pay app. So I had to go in the apps. Here I'm scrolling down where you saw the GPay app. I clicked on it and here you go, like I showed you before. Presented that and it works. There's the blue tick and there's the receipt. And I'll show you the receipt as well at the end. So there's a couple of issues here. Google Pay on the phone, you just present an unlocked phone and it, it uh, pays. But on the watch somehow, uh, you've got to go into the actual app. I think, uh, you know, the, that will change, I think, or maybe something I'm doing wrong, but you have to open the app in order to pay, otherwise it doesn't pay. If you were using Samsung Pay, you would have to enter your PIN, 
but for Google Pay, you don't have to. You set it up, but you don't have to enter it each time. Uh, all you have to do with that pin is if you ever take your watch off, you then have to enter a pin. But if it's on your wrist for all that time, you don't need to um, enter the pin again, which is an advantage because the Samsung one is a bit annoying, Samsung Pay, uh, because each time you have to enter the pin. So there, I just wanted to show you, uh, I got a few queries that Google Pay wasn't working, especially in the UK. Uh, it's it's because of these uh, reasons. I'm in the UK, as, as you saw, I went to Sainsbury's, I was able to pay and I showed you the receipt. If you have any more queries, just leave them in the comments box and I'll try and do another video to address anything that might be uh, an issue. I do try to reply to comments as you will see. Um, but yeah, have a, have a great day.